Do do do. Which we've done that. Let's talk to Miss Trixie. Trixie? Yeah. Artie's waiting outside. Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Artie? The one and only. Aw, you can tell what she's got a sweetie. Down. She's a I sweetie for him. For me, Q-ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Yeah, smoke breaks all over the place in this day and age. Hey, yeah, yeah, personally, I don't really like smoking so. Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my unit. What? Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? Run. I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. <laughs> All right, fella. I think you're done for tonight. Hey, what do at you least he has high hopes. Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Yeah, he took a swing at me. <laughs> you hear gunfire and you don't go up to see what's going on, officer? Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever Aww. you say, babe. She looks what so sad. That? What happened? Oh, well, I don't think I'd get anything from her. Can't. Oh wait, no, he didn't come down yet. Let's go up and talk. Murder. Blood. There's Are blood. You? you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? So you come out to the come alley. Out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. And get dun, dun, this: dun. the little worms whispering away all conquistadorial like with my Trixie. Oh no! Yeah, Naturally, you can see I where he gets Kim his. Uh, and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's where head. Where Biff gets his, you know, mixing up things. He's a big wuss. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees, crying and begging hey. for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? So you can obviously tell I that do? she has a sweetie. I fired two shots in the air and told Hardy to take a hike. Sweetie, oh, that was yeah. merciful. Hey, I got plenty. She's of mercy. got it for him. Besides, now Trixie owes She's me. She's carrying a torch for him. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Uh. He is such a scum. Scumbag, scumbag, scumbag. Well, we'll go through the door here. Welcome back, sir. Yeah, let me in, let me in. Well, we know she thinks that Artie's alive, so she won't turn in Tannen at all. Boss? You mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Dynamite. Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Yeah, not good. Secret passages all over the place. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Oh, well, she thinks Artie is alive and won't do anything uh do ten and otherwise and of course we have a sneaky suspicion that the wall of infamy here is people that have uh you know been knocked out of the equation so let's talk to the mister you think you could draw a picture of this guy mister caricature sure. guy here Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Nah, it's my Never dad. noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Yeah, yeah, give him a hat. Make him look exactly like Artie Voila. if he can. Ah, oh, thank nice you very job. much. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. People working for Tenant, they all have big plans. Carnegie Hall, the New Yorker. I wonder what uh, the guy at the door wants to do. Oh, well. I'll just stick this up here. Boop -a -doop. Sorry about this, Dad. Yeah, you're dead. Sorry, Dad, you're dead. 
Kinda, sorta. Well, pretending, whatever. You know what I mean. Alrighty, Miss Trixie. Miss Trixie. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I know what happened to Artie. I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was uh, awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. Oh, he wasn't loyal to you? About, about Artie Arthur. McFly. What about him? Look Have over you heard there. Is he okay? He's not okay, ma'am. He's he's not okay. I think something bad might have happened to him. What? You mean Kid went back on his promise? <coughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Oh no! Oh poor Artie! Poor sweet little Artie! I know. Yeah, that she's carrying a torch for him. Kid. He can't get away with this. You gonna turn over the evidence you got against him? Am I ever? Just watch me. Wait a minute. What evidence do you have that Kid bumped Artie off? Um, it's just a hunch. Keep your hunches for the racetrack. It ain't nice to get a girl all worked up over unsubstantiated rumors. About Arthur. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? He's not okay. I think something bad might have happened. You think? Yeah. And you think Kid did it, so you... Yeah. Well, I think... Come on! Turn on Tannen! Okay, so I put the you thing up I mean? over there! Thanks! Oh, come on! We put the thing up over here specifically. Let's come over and look at the Wall of Infamy. The Shrew didn't burrow deep enough. Yeah, okay, let's. Who can we talk to about the Wall of Infamy? Come on over here. All right, all right, all right. Zane? Hey, bartender, what'll it be? About these characters so about on the wall. This, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the wall of honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having tipped off one Irving Kid Tannen. Did the guys that kids done. killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like, and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence. Yes, yeah. very coincidental, and Arthur's up there. Next. So, let's tell her now, hopefully now she'll actually pay attention and look over there, come Trixie? on. Yeah? Look who made the Wall of Fame. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? <gasps> Artie! Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be... safe! Dun, dun, dun. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? what? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting... And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of Kid's books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. No. Oh, I knew no. all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw You know, she doesn't mind the killing people it's and the doing crime, crazy. but, you know, IRS tax evasion. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, da da. Wah 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 what happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. But in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? <laughs> no speakeasy no here. Mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! Yeah, kind of trying to cover up too late there. 
call the ult. Yeah? Would the Valenti mob be willing to help uh, defuse this little situation? No. I don't know. The Valenti mob doesn't like being associated with losers. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Yes? Wait, you mean Doc? Doc? What? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Nothing. Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah.